Hey, Captain Brian here. Uh, it's late September on the northern Chesapeake, so it's cooling off now, and it's a good time to do some routine maintenance, including oil changes. Uh, I did the uh, oil changes in my engines last week. Uh, that was kind of a big job because each of these holds six, six and a half gallons, gallons of oil. Uh, and uh, I don't know if you can see the size of the oil filter on this. Um, it's a big, big jobby. Now, dr you know, smaller engines, you can buy these uh, vacuum pumps for the oil to suck it out the dipstick tube. But luckily, on my boat, I have a, uh, an oil change pump. See that white thing down there with the manifold with the three knobs on it? There's one for the, you know, the starboard engine, one for the port engine, and, and uh, one for my generator. So today I'm going to be doing my generator oil change. So step one is to get ready to uh, pump the old oil out at the bottom. So, which you definitely want to have, uh, you know, a, a bucket with a lid because when I'm carrying this or putting it in a cart, taking it up to the oil dump up, uh, up at, at the marina, uh, you don't want it sloshing out and making everything messy. So, so you try to do this with as minimal mess as possible. Definitely glove up, have extra gloves because you don't want to get dirty diesel oil all over your hands, bad for you. And it's a real mess. So, uh, my generator only holds five quarts of oil, just like a typical car. So this is a two gallon bucket, so that should fit in there nice. So I'm gonna put this down here near the oil change pump. And then here's my, the hose that the oil comes out. And I've got it blocked off so it doesn't drip into the bilge, although I've made the mistake of letting some drip in there before. But So I'm just going to loosen this up, this clamp that holds this bolt in the end of it. Take that off. Okay, so now get this in the bucket. Make sure it doesn't pop out or knock the bucket over. Gotta be careful, you don't wanna make a giant mess. Now, these are marked S for starboard motor, P for port motor, so this one's the gen. So I'm gonna open that one up. See how see how I opened up the, the one? And I, I'm getting ready to flip the switch. Is a, up is for fill. I can actually suck new oil out of the bucket if I want, but I'm gonna push the switch down to, to empty it into the bucket. Now, before I proceed, I'm gonna re re release the vacuum by taking the, the filler cap off of the gin. And this is where I could be doing this from up top side, but I don't want to keep opening and closing, so I'll just get over here and take this off. All right. So now air can get in and not cause a vacuum. Let's pump. There it goes. Perfect. This will take a while, uh, not too long, but a couple minutes, and then you'll hear, you know, when it's when the oil's all out, you'll start hearing a bump gurgle, and you know, hear air instead of oil. So just let that let that do do its thing. So the oil's coming out a little slow, and you know I realized I, I could have run the generator to warm up that oil a little bit, makes it a little thinner, and it'll come out easier. But you know, since I have a uh, an oil change pump that's sucking it from the bottom of the pan, all the dirt sit in the oil sitting down low, I'm getting it out real nice. If you had a an oil change pump that you suck it out the dipstick tube, you're better off warming it up, getting all the dirt in suspension makes it easier for it to suck it out that little tube and you'll get more of the dirt out that way. All right, sound's changing. It's just about empty here. Just let it run a little bit, make sure I get as much of that dirty oil out the bottom as I can. Let's 
So we're done pumping. I'm just gonna just put the stopper back in here, tighten this up so we don't get a lot of drips in the bilge. I'm just gonna give this thing a little rub down because it gets pretty dirty and you know, the less dirty oil we get in our bilge, the better. Not that my bilge is very clean, but this every little bit helps. Put that somewhere where it's not gonna fall and close my valve and put the little safety over the button so we don't accidentally pump when we don't want to. Okay, now I'm gonna get my bucket lid must have for this job. I'm not gonna put it on there real hard. Just you know, I'm not gonna snap it on, I'm just gonna lay it on there because I don't want any splashing. And let's get that off the boat. Next step, change the oil filter. Um, and these are pretty small. So I think I can unscrew the old one with my hand. No way for those big engine ones, but uh, this one shouldn't be too bad. Now this can be a little messy, but the good news is um, this oil filter is mounted sideways, which sounds wrong because it'll spill out. But in fact, it spilled out during the draining, so it should be empty and not drip much at all. So, but in any case, get these at your auto parts store, little uh, you know oil, uh, you know absorbent mats, and uh, so I'll just stick one under there, make sure I catch any drips, and then maybe I'll use that to sit the old oil filter down on. I'll, I'll grab one of these just in case, and new gloves. So here's the old oil filter. See that blue thing in there? That's it. There's the, the dipstick checking the, the level. Uh, so luckily I got long arms I can reach in here. Otherwise I could be, you know, laying on top of the engine doing this, but uh, I can do it from up here through this little access panel. So, uh, so I'm going to take this, this oil absorbent mat and just sort of get it under there. It's kind of impossible to make a perfect floor, but it'll do the trick if something drips. And then I'll see if I can get that off of there. Here, take this. So, lefty loosey. Yep, came right off. All right, no mess. Not too bad, but all the same. We got a paper towel sitting here. And uh, you know what, let me get another paper towel and I'll wipe that mating surface a little bit. I'm just gonna dab, dab some of the old oil off the mating surface so we don't get too uh, dirty there. There's not much on there really. And you don't wanna like wipe real hard and leave bits of paper towel behind either. So just, you know, a little dab will do you. No, there's not much on there. It's pretty good. And uh, and that's that. Let's get ready to put the new oil filter on. So before you put the new one on, they tell you to get a little fresh oil on your finger. And rub around this gasket. So it doesn't get stuck on there while it's while it's on there so you don't you know rip rip the gasket apart taking it off next year 
little bit on the threads, whatever. That should do it. All right, let's get it on there. Can't really see, but you can feel your way in there. Make sure you don't know, cross thread it. You know, it should go on nice and easy. It's a lot of turns before you get to the mating surface. Should be perfectly easy to turn. Hands a little oily again, but this really should only be hand tight. Don't use a wrench to tighten it up. There's not a lot of oil pressure. It's like 25 pounds or something. So, you know, just hand tight is plenty. Okay. My hands are a little slippery from me touching that oil just now. So I'm just going to wipe this down a little bit, make sure I'm getting a decent grip on it. Yep, yeah, that's good and tight. All right, so this, no drips. We'll use that next time. So, my generator uses uh, 15W40 uh, diesel engine oil. Um, this is totally not what you put in the engines. I have turbo diesels, and you know, when you see these two numbers, this multi-grade oil, that's bad for turbos, right? It turns the, the compounds that make it multi-grade turn into ash. It builds up in your turbo. So I use straight 40 weight for the engines. All right, so I usually stop by the auto parts store and get my oil in, you know, these quart size bottles and they're easy enough to get under there and pour them in without making a mess. But uh, this, this gallon, I got a gallon uh, this time and it's too big to get under there and pour it in. So I'm gonna use the oil change pump to suck it in from the bottom. So I'm just gonna open this up. And we'll open our tube again. that in here and this time I'm going to flip the switch the other way to the fill position feed it down a little bit as it goes down all right so I got a gallon in there first I'm going to check the level with the dipstick Give it a little wipe. Put it back in there. All the way in. And see where we're at. Now it looks like it's full. But the uh, the oil filter is not full yet. So it's going to consume some. So I'm going to uh, just start, start it. Run it for a, minute, a second or two just to get the oil circulating and then we'll check the oil afterwards. All right, so we ran the generator for a little bit and uh, shut it down, let it, let it uh, all settle back down in the pan. So now we can check the level one more time. Wipe it off. Get it all in there. Let's see where we're at. It's just full. So I think we're good. Alright, otherwise I could have topped it off right here, but I think we're done. So that's it. I got oil, uh, fresh oil in all my, uh, you know, my generator, my engines, uh, and I like to do that before the winter, so that you, you know, put them away with clean oil, they're not sitting with dirty oil all winter, and then we'll be ready to go in the spring.
perfect. Time for a drink.